When 35-year-old Darrell Alvarez changed his mind and decided to fetch water from the public faucet a few houses down from where he lived in the set side era of Gungulung, he did not foresee his demise. Neither did his siblings. He, the in the house, his daughter, we on full two buckets of water. So he come out. When he come out, one young boy had a fear. Like the whole he changed the direction. Why he go? Cause he usually full water across at my sister. And like when he had a fear until now, the certain person that the lane the healer, like when he walk out, say, I will, will I go on full water that the lane. Prior to drawing water from the stand, Alvarez met up with someone. That individual, according to his sister, owed him money for a consignment of marijuana. Selling weed was Alvarez's livelihood. He ain't done our person way work, I for say, well, every 15, he got to a paycheck for coming. So for him, pay for him, maintain for every picnic, he sell weed. So when he sell weed, he like, he got friends where I come buy one half ounce and then they and they pay him the money when they get make for a profit they are paying him when he tell them for pay and then they keep the profit after day. So they got this young man, he get the weed, sell the weed, no one pay the money. When he no one pay the money, my brother got out of time because the time don't pass, he pay the weed. So my brother got out of time after three hours, so the time don't pass, he pay the weed money, bring the money. That demand reportedly ended with an exchange of words between Alvarez and the unidentified individual, during which threats were leveled. When he was informed that the same person was at this open lot a short distance away from the pipe, Alvarez may have presumed that the debt would have been paid. Much to the contrary. Three persons done there to the alley that a big field, the wait for him. But when he reached him, for him, the difference that was stick. So he then we have a little hard top. But when he look like when he turned the back, we put on the pipe that, that when they get the upper hand and, and just shatter. I don't know in the back in the head with and they shatter, but I think that tree shot and shatter. The incident, Kimberly Alvarez insists, was not provoked by gang activity. Then a friend, every day they come buy weed, every day they encounter. This don't got nothing for doing no gang, nothing. This don't got nothing for those one fool will get my brother weed and don't want to pay the money and think that for him not pay the money he take my brother life. That the way I got to tell him he is a fool because he every day you pass you call my mom evening mommy evening you got the heart for pull the trigger but not seeing lady you bid every day you bid the time of the day to you pull the trigger for my brother. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayetano.